What year make and model is this truck? Uh, this is a 2006 Ford F-250 Super Duty 6 liter turbo diesel. Why did you choose the power adder you have on this truck? Well, I didn't really choose what was on it. It was a turbocharged Ford V8 diesel from the factory, a 6 liter. So what I have chosen to do is to make the engine better by adding a larger turbo that spools in a different sort of way to add more torque and more horsepower to the engine to assist this truck when it's pulling, just out driving it, makes it more economical in terms of fuel, uh, and uh, sounds really good too. Do you experience turbo lag when accelerating in your vehicle? Uh, yes, this truck does have severe turbo lag. Uh, it is inherent of the type of turbo that it is and the way that it performs. This is a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta Wolfsburg edition with the 2 liter turbo um, engine. It is an FSI. Um, it is completely stock. There's nothing done to it. So, um, a stock it makes 205 horsepower and 240 pound feet of torque. Um, it does have noticeable turbo lag. It is a um, pretty small engine with two liters, so it has relatively small displacement and a small turbo. So, that does equal high efficiency within um, the compression ratio range. When it comes to a turbo and turbo lag, uh, do you notice that in this vehicle severely? Um, I notice it a lot, um, mainly because this is a smaller turbo and it's a smaller displacement engine. So when you do hammer on it, it takes a minute for everything to wind up in the compressor to start really going. Okay, so we're going to do a proper DSG 2 liter turbo stupid launch. We're going to start by putting the car in sport mode. And second, we're going to turn traction control off. And then third, we're going to pull out here on the road. And I'm going to put my foot all the way down on the brake. And I'm going to mat the accelerator. And then I'm going to let off. And that is an example of turbo lag. What year make and model is this vehicle? Okay, this is an 07 GT500. And uh, what, what do you have done to the, uh, your vehicle? Well, actually, we're talking about superchargers, so I, I have added a larger supercharger than what came on the with than what was original equipment. Mm -hmm. So this is a lot bigger power adder than what I had originally. What makes a supercharged engine special to you? Well, the biggest thing for me is that it's a simple way to add power to a busting engine. What year make and model is this truck? This is a 1993 Ford Lightning F-150 built by SVT. It's the first year, the first generation of this limited production truck. What makes a naturally aspirated engine special to you? I think it is interesting to be able to have an engine that can make power all by itself. It doesn't have to have some extra thing to put it there. So it's all in the hands of the builder, the engine guy that puts this engine together to make sure that piece A performs with piece B and makes everything work the way that it should without having to have some sort of extra something there to you know push that engine along. What do you have done to your vehicle? So the first generation Lightning started out as a 351 marine block engine. And then Ford took 
the GT40 tubular intake, stuck that on there with GT40 heads. And then basically, I've kept that part of the truck stock because it works very well. The rest of the truck, I've decided to modify. So this truck has equal length long tube headers as you can see down below. This truck has a modified camshaft. This truck also has a cold air induction kit on it as well. It also has underdrive pulleys. These are all things that are kind of hot to the, uh, to the Ford uh, Windsor engine. This truck also has a full Bassani exhaust from the header pipes all the way back. It features a catless exhaust with a twin side exit exhaust out the rear on the suspension. This truck has eye back sport line kit that drops the front by about two inches. It has a belt tech kit accompanying the eye back, which gives it an additional three in the rear. Running a larger front tire and a larger rear tire just to kind of give us some extra traction, a little bit of offset. This truck also has a 410 gear in the rear with a locking posi track.